Hi, and welcome to another thrilling screencast. My name is Orlando Vasquez, and today we'll be learning how to make use of OVF packages on joint smart OS space systems. Now, I hear you wondering, what's an OVF package and why would I want to use one? Well, I was just going to get to that. OVF stands for Open Virtualization Format, and it defines a way to describe a virtual machine's physical hardware, things such as memory, C number of CPU cores, disk images, uh, network cards, and uh, that sort of thing in a vendor neutral way. And all it really is is uh, an XML file, some uh, checksums, and uh, some disk images. And so using this, you can re-import a VM on onto different hypervisors in theory. So what we can do is actually take one of these things and convert it into something that we can use in SmartOS. So without further ado, what we can do is hop onto the joint GitHub p account page and go into the convert VM repo and we just grab that URL. And I'm gonna be doing this on a smart data center head node, but this could just as easily be done on a a vanilla smart OS live image. So let's go into var temp and we'll build this guy. So you'll need GCC, node, and npm to make this work. So once we've cloned this, let's hop in there. Let's say npm install. And uh, should just build a couple of things that we can use to build this now. So okay, that's done. So now we should be able to run this, and here is our help message. So I have a, a little free DOS VM that I uh, use for testing. That we can I'll show you. I'll show you how to convert. So let's just do this. We can say node com in convert vm.js and then we'll give it a name um, free DOS. And these are all properties that will go into the ds manifest and that this thing will spit out. So and then let's say the version is 1.0.0. The description can just be free DOS. OS, free DOS, those two are not that critical. Um, and then for the disk driver, we'll give it ID. Uh, you'll have to probably p play around a little bit with the disk and uh, NIC driver since some VMs will tolerate convert IO and some want ID. So let's just uh, do that because I know it works. And we'll take our input OVF, which I have conveniently located here. DOS 1.0 and let's forward it to var temp. So there's a couple of different versions of OVF that exist. There's uh, 0 0.9 and 1.0 and the tool only supports the latter. Um, just because of the way the XML format is laid out. It's uh, a little bit tricky to switch between the two, but in theory, someone could write something to consume the earlier format. I just didn't bother with that. Um, so now the tool is actually going through all the different sectors of the VMDK file and converting that into a raw disk image that we're essentially just writing to the ZFS, uh, to a ZFS ZVOL. And once that's done, the tool will uh, ZFS send that to a file and uh, bun zip it. So this should be done pretty quickly. So the tool's a little rough around the edges still. You can see it's writing a bunch of uh, debugging output and there's actually a few different 
VMs for which it won't work and different um, VM decay formats that it just doesn't support yet. So I'm hoping uh, people will start sending patches and uh, this will get better as time goes on. But it works for um, a subset of OVFs right now. And just needs to be tested on more and have uh, some bugs worked out. So feel free to just scrub forward on this video to where it finishes this process. Which it just has done. So now it will be taking a s snapshot of the ZVOL and ZFS sending it to a file. done. Okay, great. So now we go back to var temp. Now you see we've got a zfs.bz2 file and a free dos.bs manifest. So if we cat this guy, um, so there's, you know, the stuff that we defined and uh, some information that it pulled out of the uh, vmdk file that was packed along with that machine. Um, okay, so now what we can do is say dot scc ds import free dos ds manifest, or we could use ds adm to do this. So now we're making this available to our head node, so we can actually now hop onto the admin UI and provision a VM using this data set. Assuming I can log in. Alright, I need to fix my time. So now we can go to machines, provision machine. We should see our free DOS data set there. And there it is. We select our head node as the target and click provision. Another data set is being imported into the z the z pool, and we'll um, we'll get a fresh VM 
created from that. Okay, so our VM is now running, and uh, I just did a VM ADM info on that UUID uh, to get the display port for a VNC. So we can just throw that into uh, chicken of the VNC or whatever your favorite VNC viewer is, and uh, say connect. And um, well, we should have our VM there. And, you know. We're running in DOS now, so we can say edit auto input drop at or your favorite DOS command. And uh, yeah, boom, there it is. So yeah, it's a little rough around the edges. Um, patch is welcome, obviously, uh, but I think we can make it better and make it accept all sorts of different uh, other formats and uh, make the formats that it does support a lot better and more robust. Um, so that's it. Let me know what you think.